All right, so welcome to my uh, video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, how I set up my uh, drum rig here. Uh, the goal is to play uh, this, you know, Launchpad Pro live. Okay, uh, even though I set it up uh, originally uh, for my studio, but then I used uh, I, I see the the uh, the potential for for live application here. Um, so um, the idea is you can set up this 64 pad uh, uh, to any instrument or any sample um, that you have. Uh, in my case, I have uh, um, I have sampled a lot of sound from um, um, either a, a drummer, uh, a superior drummer tree or other uh, uh, drum software. Uh, Sometimes I, I pick up some sound from, uh, from the stock uh, sound of Studio One. Uh, I go to the sample and then whatever I like, I just grab it and then sample it or track it into the, one of these paths and use it. Uh, the idea is uh, I create my own sound, I tweak it so that I, I, you know, I use it for my own project or uh, for a certain song that I like. So in, in live playing, um, I, I would use it, you know, like uh, I have kit, you know, like this the Yamaha kit here, uh, or the yellow pass or Yamaha kit. So um, I have uh, one kick to snare, um, one hat, you know, this is go ha close hat. And then I have Tom, one, two, three, four, Rye, one and two, uh, clap and, and cowbell. And up here I have uh, four crashes, okay? Um, so that's, that's Yamaha kit. And then I have another kit up here, uh, the liquid kit. Um, same with the same uh, mapping, you know, kick, snare, snare, hat, tom, same idea, okay? And then over here I have uh, another patch, you know, the blue one is uh, all the percussion. You know, the jamba on here, the, the roll of the jamba, and then I have... Um, a jazz kit down here, a little, a tiny jazz kit, you know, with a kick, snare, tom, and ride, okay? Tiny ride. And up here I have, um, you know, the uh, extra crash, okay? And then I have uh, the shaker, and then the chimer, okay? So so the wind jam is, is really nice. Sometimes you need that uh, that wind jam for some, uh, some song, you know, the introduction or the end. Um, and then I have other loop up here, okay? So loop is like, um, it would uh, quantize, um, not quantize, but uh, it would uh, tap tempo. So, so I have the tempo set up first. Either I tap tempo it f first for the song, or, um, uh, you know, or, or I can just, uh, you know, set it manually and then uh, turn on the loop. And uh, I have another button that cue the loop. Uh, when I don't want to play loop anymore, so like let's say I'm playing this loop, and then I'm 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 ready to play uh, manual now. So I can go back to play manual and then play loop again. Uh, it's very fluid the way I set it up. That you can uh, you can think of it as uh, you can play loop and then you know and switch back and forth between. Uh, automatic playing and, and manual playing. Um, I have another section up here. Uh, if you scroll up, you see the the uh, purple bu button up here. These are the, I set up as parallel loop. Okay, parallel loop idea is uh is like you have um, a hi hat going for an eight note or a sixteen note thing like that, or a ride that go for a sixteen note eight note. Uh, you can create any pattern you want, and then because you have this playing, you can just, you know, play kick and snare on top of that, uh, and, and you don't have to, uh, I mean, without having this parallel loop, you probably have to do this. Right? I mean, it, you, your hand will be more busy with a lot of things, but uh, because you create this parallel loop, sometimes you just play. It's already played for you, so and then I just kill it with this button right here. So um, for this, for these loop down here, I can kill with this button, and then for these parallel loop up here, I can kill with this button. 
uh, and so that's generally my uh, th how I play live on these pad. Okay. Now, if you go to Studio One, um, all these pad map up uh, with with the long pad. You know, uh, corresponding one to one. Um, so right now, my pad A is this yellow here, and it all of this map up this sample up here. Is, is, uh, is in the A block, okay? Um, how do I get the sample in here? Well, I have to sample it myself, uh, either playing a an instrument uh, or playing a, a live instrument. I can plug a, uh, something in to my sound system and, and play it and, and sample it. Or I can just uh, find any file you know like a, a wave file somebody send me a wave file i can just drag on here i don't have to sample anything so in the next video i will show you how to uh, go about sampling um all these uh, so sound from uh, from from a software you know and then uh, whatever sound that you like you could just uh, either drag it in or sample it in um so that's that, that's the content for the next video but uh, but for this video, I just want to go over real quick what what you need. Uh, what you need is a, it's a launch pad, and then you need to connect to Studio One, um, set up a external device uh, for it, and then launch uh, the Impact XT. Um, and then in Impact XT, um, you can either use these preset that that they have here, or create a, a custom library like I do. Okay. So if you look at my library, um, it, it's like this. All of these are the are, are the sample that I um, I sample in from from other instrument. Okay, and then uh, beyond that, you can create a pattern from from um, Studio One here. Studio One have a pattern editor now. Um, let me show you what it looked like real quick. So you pull this pattern up, and you see this pattern. Okay, this pattern you can create yourself by clicking on these boxes. Um, you just play around with it, and you you get it really quick. Okay, um, so so all of these patterns I will create. Um, all you have to do is you know create more variety of it, and then. Uh, bounce it down to like a audio uh, uh, a wave file and then you track it on top of the pad okay well, in this example all of these you see all of these sounds is already already created or I already sample so so my my drum kit here is already sample right and then it show up here for me to use okay so my whole drum kit will show up in here for me to use. All I have to do is create a pattern for it, and now I have the pattern that play play up of my kit here. Okay, that's pretty cool because you don't want to have a loop that has the sound of one kit and then another loop that your friend send you that actually from a, a different kit completely. You know, like a a portion of a song you you play. Um, a look with and then the other part of the song you play a Yamaha kit it, it's how really weird so that's why you want to create a pattern out of you know your your drum pad here okay um, so so that's the idea um, all right so um, impact XT is just part of studio one you don't have to do anything as, as far as you have uh, I have the uh, studio one version 4 uh, professional but you uh, I believe you can use the uh, artist version and it also have the impacts XT that you can use uh, and then it has the sample one this is sample one is the one that I use to sample the sound in and I'll show you in the, in the next video and then besides that I have a superior drummer tree um, I track it in for you to see All right. So this is uh, this is Sapira Drummer Tree um, software. So as you can see, this is the uh, default kit. But you know, like if I like anything here, um, so far I like George Massenburg, 
um, sample. So I just go to 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 his uh, preset here and go to like let's say I go to Locus Classic, okay, and um, the computer will take some time to boot it up. And this sam sample are, are so nice, okay. So I would just take my time to sample the, the kick and the snare, hat, you know, close, open hat, thing like that, and all the symbol into my own library. And then in here, once I have it in here on the pad, say I have this kick, it's from the uh, from liquid here, okay? So that's the same kit that you hear. And I just tweak it, you know, with, with these parameter here. Um, and there you go, you have the the uh, a perfect drum set, you know, that you can bring anywhere, a, a, a very small footprint. Um, you can bring anywhere uh, with just your, your laptop, uh, a launch pad pro and a, a tiny uh, audio interface that you bring, you know, with just a few cable, okay? Um, so so that's, that's how I use it. Um, in studio and I can even bring it uh, to any gig that you know I I don't play drum um, and, you know I play guitar but you know I create a drum uh, pad like this for my studio whenever I come to um, you know making a track for for a drum track for a song or something like that then then I would use this but uh, I can see the the a great application for a live style too okay all right, so uh, I'll see you in the next video to go over the setup from the beginning to the end, uh, how you would get uh, the launch pad to talk to Studio One, and how to set up each pad, how to get the sample in, how to uh, create your own custom sound. All right, thank you for watching.